Greetings, greetings. Welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress. And I am coming to you today on behalf of Pisces, my Pisces Collective. This is your New Year's reading. Um, please remember to click like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you're going through. Take it how it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. All right, we're going to get through to you. Get through with you. What am I trying to say? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm trying to do Pisces, okay? Okay. So, you'll notice on my channel as we start to go, you know, I'm, this is the first time I'm releasing Zodiacs on this particular channel, but I will be going, always starting with the birthday Zodiac. So, next month, when we enter Aquarius, I will start with Aquarius, and we will go uh, around the Zodiac accordingly. And then so on for Pisces, you'll be the star of the show when Pisces is in uh, the sky, you know? All right, so. Spirit, please give me a collective reading for my Pisces collective. We got the Knight of Wands. Oh, that was really quick. Temperance. Looking out for you. Ten of Cups, Pisces. Oh, got your card here. Three of Wands. This is expansion. Nice, Pisces. Oh, I need more. That's two of cards. One at a time, please, please. King of Cups, bottom of the deck, it's the bottom of the deck, the Hermit. All right, so Pisces, we have the Knight of Wands. There was some in and out energy in your life. Um, there may have been a lot of passion, um, drive, inspiration, happiness and joy in your life but through your movements i feel like you may have traveled a lot in the past or you may have moved around a little bit we got temperance i feel like during this winter season going into the new year you're looking to balance things out in your life uh the movement the career the love life the family i feel like everything is you, you're you're pouring into yourself to balance yourself out the light the dark this is yin and yang energy. This is moon and sun energy. This is, you know, um, peace, alchemy, you know, really focusing on how do I pour the, 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 the love, the depth of the love, but the clarity. So, you know, how do I align my head with my heart kind of energy, which is for a dreamy Pisces is not necessarily your forte because when you want to live in that illusion, you live in that illusion. And when you want to live in the sun, you want to live in the sun. So it's kind of like, um, how do I get that to work for me? Because I feel like, though, Pisces, if you are concentrating on your creativity, that's where you transmute any confusion in that energy. That, those emotions that can typically overwhelm some Pisces, not all. Um, when you transmute that into creativity you, and you got that outlet you know, you you balance things out because it has somewhere to go. We have the Ten of Cups here. So the love life is strong. The children in the ha are happy. The, you know, there's some grounding here. And I feel like if this hasn't happened for you, it's in the hidden energy. So I feel like this is what's coming for you, which is beautiful. Because Ten of Cups is what you want. You want the whole package. You want the love. You want the happy family. You want the children. You want to feel nurtured. You want to feel grounded in your love, right? Three of Wands is here in the challenge. And so I feel like, she, you know, some of my collective Pisces, y'all might always be looking for something new. Um, you know, that's the challenge. I think you've been Knight of Wands energy, maybe flying around a lot or moving around a lot, not really stable and grounded like you like to be. And I think that's what you're looking for. More scrounge, more around excuse me more stability but there's expansion here i feel like you have latent talents that have yet to come out or that you have yet to utilize 
I know you might be aware of it. Other people might be aware of it. But this is you kind of recognizing where your next step should be. We have the King of Cups here. Now, this is definitely your card. The King of Cups is full of emotions, but not necessarily more forthcoming with emotions. So I feel like there's some areas in your life you may be holding back um, how excited you are or how much you love a thing or love a person. Um, I'll clarify. And then we have the, the hermit. Now, the hermit is alone, but not lonely. Um, the hermit is reflective. The hermit is contemplative. The hermit does do does the work to figure things out, sometimes on their own, sometimes with the work of others, but genuinely it's for the self, right? It's not for, you know, collective energy. It's for personal energy, you know, and I feel like you've been in a hermit mode, which many of us are, depending on where you're on this country dealing with this cold, you may not have a choice but to be in hermit energy, right? Because you're by yourself for a little while. So this uh, this makes you focus inward, right? How can I feel good? What can I do better? What can I expand upon? How can I go forward? Oh, one at a time. Spirit. We got the King of Wands here. So we got the Knight of Wands with the King of Wands. Definitely been movement, courageous movement. Pisces, my Pisces collective, y'all have been, um, wow, getting around. I feel like you've been traveling abroad. I feel like you've been seeing sights unknown. I feel like you're an adventurer, Pisces. And even and if you're not just physically an adventurer like a traveler, you're an adventurer spirit. Maybe you're an adventurer in love or you're an adventurer in um, your career path. Two of Swords. So yeah, during this time when you're trying to balance out your temperance energy, I think you're trying to come to terms with some things in your life that you may not want to face um but they're gnawing at you to face them you know this is the two of swords is making a decision and not wanting to have to do it but you're gonna have to like you, you can't sit on the fence forever it's not one of those stagnant type um of energies you, you cannot be stagnant it's it's a decision must be made energy or it will gnaw at you it won't leave you alone tell me about this ten of cups spirit Nine of Swords. I feel like maybe you moved around a lot and you're worried about having that Ten of Cups, having that joy. Or you're worried about keeping it. But there's some type of worry that's keeping you up, like the dark, dark night of the soul kind of energy. And I feel like this does not serve you well. Um, worry never serves us well because if we don't outwardly worry, we inwardly worry. You know, it affects our organs. It can affect your health. So I think you need to watch that, Pisces. I think you need to look at your health. I think you need to um, check your energy. Check your nervous system. Four cups. Okay. This four cups is given with this three of wands is that you have a fear of missing out of opportunities. And when we have a fear of missing opportunities, we kind of want to take all of them. But you can't take them all. There are some you can't take, at least not at that time. You have to complete something. You have to finish something before you start something new. That's the energy I'm getting. And you're ready to start something new because you don't want to miss it. I think you need to uh, pause. I think you need to pause and focus. This King of Cups is giving me pause. I feel like... Um, yeah, I feel like the King of Cups is giving me pause as to where you should focus. But I feel like you, you're thinking like if I don't keep staying in, if I don't stay in this Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy where I keep roaming and I keep, you know, smelling all the flowers everywhere I go, that you're not going to have that Ten of Cups. And you, you know, you could miss the boat. If you take anything for granted, but I feel like spirit is working with you. I feel like this temperance energy is calling you to stabilize yourself, you know, ground yourself. I feel like, you know, water flows just like air flows, just like fire ignites, right? But there, there's a need for grounding with this three of wands energy. There's a need for, for um, I don't know, putting down roots. You need some earth energy. 
to balance you out. And I'm not seeing any earth here. Tell me more, spirit. I think that's what that hermit energy is calculating for you. Too many cards. But I saw the two of cups, so I feel like there's a relationship here that is in jeopardy of being missed. Um, no, that fell. Wow, the Knight of Cups. Yes, so you focus on it. You're focused on a relationship that I think you want to have, but I feel like you're a little trepidatious of a, uh, sharing your emotions, King of Cups. I think you know you have to. I think you don't want to miss the opportunity. Um, I feel like you've been in contemplation for a long enough. Hermit energy. Tell me the bottom of the deck, Spirit. Yeah, Spirit is guiding you. This is this is also Pisces energy. Spirit is guiding you. You're probably having not just download the dreams. You're probably dreaming of this person, thinking of them a lot, um, knowing that God's you know Spirit universe has sent them towards you. Yeah, I feel like you know what you know, but I feel like there's a little bit of scariness. I feel like you're scared of being hurt. This is the energy of, um, you know, not wanting to do it, but knowing you need to do it, trying to balance your energy out. Probably a bit of insecurities. Am I good enough for them? You know, are they good enough for me? Will they keep my attention? You know, but there's a lot of emotions here. You got the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Knight and the King of Cups. A lot of cups here. So there's a lot of love. There's a lot of passion here. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. And this also with this rainbow here could be a same sex uh relationship, you know, deciding whether I should take this leap, take this chance. I don't know if you worry about family situations or you know, or missing the opportunity with him, but him, I feel like him, him. So I feel like there's two masculine <clears throat> with these two kings here. Because the knight in the in the the knight of wands and the knight of cups are both masculine and feminine energy. So it could be two masculines, very different individuals, both creative, um, passionate people trying to figure out how to come together. Mm, this is different for me. No, 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 when you see things like this, but this is why I'm loving the color here, the rainbow here, I'm you know, and this doesn't have to be too masculine as far as coming together. It could be a masculine and a feminine or too feminine. Can't really tell what's going on here. Maybe it is too feminine. Who knows? I feel like it's just love coming together, but there's some worry, some insecurities in the in the midst of all of this right so take it how it resonates like i said if it don't resonate don't take it Ooh, some conditioning yeah i feel like um what's creating the insecurities is maybe the way you were raised you know that inner parent programming that has become your inner child voice you know telling you you can't do this or you got to be bound to this or you got to do it this way i feel like there's some of that going on tell me more spirit. yeah you definitely seeking guidance three of coins this is three of coins energy this is uh trying to work you trying to work it out with with yourself with your spirit guides you know your ancestors and your sacred ones are really trying to um help you you know with the high priestess they're trying to speak to you in your quiet time as a hermit energy Damn, more spirit yeah, they're asking you to trust trust the universe trust spirit that they're guiding you in the direction you need to go to this is also knight of cups energy this is also knight of wands energy clarifying each other both of them are here Mm. Pisces, you got a lot going on, boo. Boo. And two of cups. This is a coming together. I, you know what? I love when spirit validates me. Because this right here is a coming together of two. The two become one. I don't care which two it is. Somebody becoming one. Okay, Pisces? So in the new year, Love is on your mind. Somebody is um, got to take a leap of faith. 
got to rewrite the parental programming in their their inner child wounds. They got to do a little healing, you know, to get over their insecurities, to make, to take the step, to trust themselves that this person truly loves me and vice versa. You also got to allow people to show you who they are. Don't trust them blindly because you're in the rose colored glasses phase. Take your rose colored glasses off. You know, clean them up. Clean up the glasses. Get the red off and look clearly at your situation. And then let spirit guide you. You know, don't get lost in your emotions. Balance them out. The hermit energy, the high priest energy, spirit's giving you downloads. Pay attention to your dreams. Keep a dream journal. Write things down. You know, as you see it, go back to it. Look at it again like, hmm, I know what that meant. I know the symbol symbolism for that. So because spirit is clearly trying to uh, guide you in a direction to, of peace and happiness, give you that ten of cups that you worried about getting, um, which results in a two of cups, the coming together. Yeah. So um, that was your message, Pisces. I think all will be well. You just got to trust source and uh, follow your gut. All right. So thank you for coming to my channel. Like, click, share, subscribe, and do all the good things. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.